well, needlefish lures are, are my favorite lure, uh, based on the fact that I was able to use them to great effect uh, for you know the, the highlight of my career, which is Block Island striped bass fishing in the 80s. Uh, they were the lure of choice, and uh, and they caught fish very efficiently. And uh, my favorite lures were were a super striped needlefish, um, which first came out in wood, and then quickly evolved after a year into plastic. Uh, Donnie Musso came out with them. Um, this lure, the Super Strike Needlefish, revolutionized striped bass fishing on Block Island. Uh, Block Island, it was basically, I call it the proving ground of needlefish plugs. Uh, you brought your needlefish to Block Island and if they could pass all the tests uh, like the, the Musso Super Strike did, um, that was a winner. And uh, this, this is probably responsible for more 50-pound bass for guys, uh, their first 50, because of Donnie's improved plug. Whereas, the, you know, if, if a guy would have hooked a fish like that with a boon or a classic needle, uh, he may have lost the fish on a super strike. Chances are, if he doesn't straighten the hooks and destroy the hooks on you, you're going to land that fish. And because the plug is not going to fall apart. And uh, so that the Super Strike Needlefish uh, is, is the first one I like. And then Gibbs came out with a wire through shortly after uh, Donnie's. And, uh, and their plug, just as effective. A different application uh, with Needlefish, but just as effective. And it's wire through. It, it doesn't get destroyed by, uh, by large striped bass. Block Island in the early days, uh, uh, the very fluorescent lime green was the absolute best color out here. Uh, if you go casting at night, on any given night, and you watch what 10 surf casters would be casting, I bet you nine of the guys would be casting a lime green Musso or a lime green uh, Gibbs. Um, so basically, we gave it the moniker of Block Island Green. When you, you find a, a real bright green like that on a plug, it's, it, you just call it Block Island Green. Um, it was initially developed out here by one of the, uh, by mistake, by one of the island, the, the islanders that lives on Block Island. Uh, he went down, uh, bought some dowels, and uh, ended up throwing a magic marker over the dowel to paint it, and he had a bright green, and he decided to paint it green and went out and caught fish with it. Next thing you know, word of mouth, this bright green is the best. And uh, it got all the way over to the mainland, and Donnie started making them in bright green instead of forest green. Uh, he still made the forest green, but the bright green were the ones to use, the Block Island green.